I recently did a video on the perfect floor plan, which sparked a debate in the comment sections on which floor is best to have the primary suite located on. So I decided to do a video to discuss these advantages and disadvantages of both that also brought in the opinions of what I hear from buyers when I either take them shopping for a new home or when they come to visit my listings. And if you stay till the very end, I will reveal my personal preference of which location I think is best. So let's dive in and talk a little bit about the benefits to having the primary suite on the first level. Aside from the very first home that I purchased, which was a single story home, and the current home that I live in, which is also a single story home, all of my other homes were two stories. Now the home that I purchased just before this one actually had a primary suite on the first floor. And I remember the first thing I thought when I walked in there was this isn't going to work because I still had three children who lived at home with me. But here are some things that I thought could be convenient in living in this type of floor plan. And the first one is convenience. You don't have to walk up and down so many stairs throughout your day, which can be really beneficial to people who want to age into their home. The second benefit is it can save a lot of time. So picture this. You're getting ready for your day, you're about to walk out the door to get into your car, and you realize you forget your wallet, your keys, or maybe you decide you don't like the pair of shoes you chose to wear with your outfit that day. So a lot of people don't realize until they actually move into these larger homes, 5,000 square feet, 6,000 square feet, just how much extra time it takes to walk through the house, up the stairs, back through the house to your bedroom to grab your keys or change your shoes. Now you've wasted an additional five to 10 minutes sometimes. So when your bedroom is on the main floor, it can actually save you a lot of time when things like this happen because inevitably they will happen. And when they do, you usually don't have even one minute to spare, let alone five or 10. Another benefit to having a first floor primary is it gives you a true separation from your children. So when there are times that you do want to wind down or you just need to get away from the noise and need some peace and quiet, maybe your kids have friends over that are playing video games in the loft maybe they're watching sports. It really gives you that ability to disconnect and enjoy some peace and quiet versus having your bedroom right in the middle of all of that chaos. And for those times you're at home enjoying a nice quiet evening, you have the option of having sliding glass doors that open up directly to your backyard where you can enjoy views from some lots or you can enjoy your private pool or spa right outside your door. The floor plan video I mentioned earlier was on a blue heron floor plan called the Arete Alta. And I still think that this floor plan is one of the best I've ever seen and it incorporates a downstairs primary that has a sliding glass door that opens up to their signature 360 degree waterfall spas which I really love so if you're interested in seeing that video I'll have my editor link it below and you can check that one out before we continue my name is Lisa Lopez your trusted real estate consultant I post videos weekly that talk about ways to live your luxury life in a simplified way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified each time I drop a new video. Okay, let's talk about the advantages of having a second floor primary now. So the most common way for a two-story home to be designed is to have all of the living amenities on the main floor. Some of these amenities would be your living area, your kitchen, a great room, maybe an office, and maybe a small guest room. And then all of the bedrooms would be on the second floor, including the primary. And I'm sure there's good reason why these floor plans are the way that the majority of two-story homes are designed. So let's get into the benefits of having a second level primary. 
I think one of the biggest benefits to having a second level primary is that parents like to be on the same floor as their children, especially at night. And especially when they still have young children that wake up in the middle of the night, either for feedings or diaper changes, or when you have sick children who want or need their parent emergently in the middle of the night. Being upstairs makes it easier to hear your children and get to them when those emergencies do arise. You also have the ability to take advantage of beautiful views out of your glass doors or large glass windows. And if you have a balcony, you get to take it all in while breathing in the fresh air. One of my favorite things in a home that I have had with a second story primary was waking up and instantly being able to enjoy the views of the golf course and the beautiful Red Rock Canyons. And in a lot of first floor primaries, that just isn't possible unless your lot is conducive to that. Another benefit I hear a lot of my buyers discuss with having a second story primary is they feel it gives them an added level of privacy. They say they feel this added privacy is because when they have guests over or having a party, people can accidentally walk into that primary suite when looking for things such as the powder room or any other room on that main floor. I've also heard that homeowners feel an extra layer of safety and security when their primary is on the second floor in case of a break-in. One of my favorite floor plans featuring a second story primary is the Summer Hill by Toll Brothers. I feel that it provides all the functionality that a family needs, but still also gives you all of the demands of luxury living. Let's see who remembers the name of the first floor plan I I mentioned in the beginning of this video. It also happens to be one of my favorite floor plans because of its functionality. Was it A, Suncrest, B, Aret Alta, C, Pissarro, or D, Vittoria? Don't forget, let me know in the comments below. So now that we've gone over the benefits of having the primary on both floors, I'm going to weigh in with my personal opinion and also which one I think brings the most value when reselling your home. Can you guess which one I'm leaning towards? If you guessed second story primary, you're wrong. Being that I've lived in both, I think having a first floor primary is the way to go, hands down. Having a downstairs primary saves you time in your day-to-day -day lifestyle. It provides you more peace and quiet when you need that separation from your children. And trust me, having raised four children, I know how important that is at times. It also, in my opinion, adds a layer of safety and security because my dog is downstairs with me and will be alerted quicker if there is a break-in. And if you don't have a dog, you are downstairs and most break-ins occur downstairs, which means you will be alerted more quickly and easily if a break-in does occur. And I know this can be controversial, but kids have a harder time sneaking out or sneaking their friends in if that ever does become a concern. And let's be honest, this actually can become a problem at some point in time if you are a parent. And it can bring value to your home when you do decide to sell because you can still sell that home to an aging couple who can no longer do the stairs or who want to purchase your home and want to age into it and know that eventually they will no longer be able to do those stairs but still want a larger home. And if you don't want to resell your home, you have the ability to age into your home because you won't have to use the stairs to get into your bedroom. If you're on the fence of which option of floor plan to choose, I hope this video was helpful. And if you want my personal help in choosing that perfect floor plan for you, please reach out. All of my information is in the description below. I'd love to walk alongside you in your home buying journey. And for more videos about Las Vegas and Henderson, make sure to check out my playlist or one of the video cards around me. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified each time I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.
Bye for now.